And uh, this project is a nature trail. This is um, graciously supported by Kopali Distillery. It is a grant that the association received this year. And essentially what we are um, aiming to do is establish a nature trail that tour guides can utilize, uh, for, particularly for birding, but also just a nature walk. Uh, the idea is um, we've partnered, we've partnered uh, with the village council for Cut Landing Village. And through that partnership, we are establishing this nature trail that will lead up to Ganja Point and provide an opportunity for our local tour guides to be able to uh, conduct their tours. Long term, what we would like to do is to find a way, a mechanism through which the village council, the Catalanian village council, would be able to generate um, maybe a small revenue, a small fee uh, for guests coming in to do their tours here in the, in the community. It is also an opportunity uh, for us to be able to teach our young children about the value and importance of our coastline, mangroves, um, just overall our environment, keeping our environment clean. And so long term, uh, the association seeks to work in partnership with the village council to maintain the trails, uh, to be able to continue to improve the trail and continue to create that environmental awareness with our younger children. So we're really excited about the opportunity. The association is also uh, seeking other funding opportunities to continue to do similar initiatives in other communities, establishing nature trails so that our communities have um, a tourism destination that can be offered to our guests, both local and uh, foreign guests. So the grant is um, a little over uh, $8,000, 8000 Belize dollars. Uh, it's a small grant, uh, but it goes a long way. It uh, is uh, going to ensure that we work towards establishing the trail, uh, possibly doing a boardwalk uh, further down where uh, the wetland um, is um, not going to allow for walking on the on the ground. And uh, in terms of the membership, the association has over 85 active members. And I want to, uh, through this opportunity, make a call to our tour guides to remember that um, one of the conditions, one of the bylaws that we have as an association is that each tour guide must volunteer eight hours of community service each year. And this is an opportunity uh, through which our tour guides uh, provide that um, community service. But there are other opportunities through which they can provide that service in their respective communities. And what we are doing now is cleaning the trail for a future reference that we want to open it as a bird walk trail. Uh, my advice to the other guide out there is to come out, support as a community service, or not only as a community service, but also to volunteer themselves as a tour guide, taking, taking and protecting the coastline here, especially we know that the coastline is being affected. So involving their time, doing their contribution, promote protect, protecting the coastline would be beneficiary on the longer terms for a longer run. As tour guide, let's join hands together and together we can move forward.